the word is that he uh, he might be returning today around noontime, and this, the city seems to be pretty quiet, and the uh, airport area in Tegucigalpa has a very tight security. Do you think he will return? Will he just be able to fly into the to the airport, as you mentioned, in Tegucigalpa, and just get off the plane? Oh, yes, of course. I think the authorities will allow the plane to come in, um, and uh, as long as a commercial flight or a... Uh, uh, if it's a military transport, it would have to be duly authorized by the uh, by the government and the by the air force of Honduras. You know, uh, process servers are waiting for him to uh, serve in process and uh, reading his rights and uh, arrest him. So, so that's what's expected. Then he'll 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 most likely arrive at the airport, maybe on a commercial flight, and then he'll just be arrested and, and put in jail. Yes, of course. That, that would be the process. Why would Zelaya do this? Why would he come to Honduras? Yeah, why would he come knowing that he's going to be arrested and put in jail? Oh, well, uh, I think he has duties to perform, not uh, duties that um, uh, um, based on the laws of Honduras, but duties as a member of a, um, of a group of, company, of uh, countries in Latin America that are seeking to... Uh, unite and uh, provide a different way of life uh, to uh, some of our country. And, and Zelaya... And that has been rejected by about 80% of our population. And what is the mood right now in your country? Is is, is it is it peaceful? Or, or is well, it... Or obviously, is... there's a great expectation about the, um, the arrival of uh, Mr. Zelaya. Uh, uh, but at the same time, there is a, uh, uh, a great concern in our population uh, of the fact that it's just been revealed that over the last uh, few uh, months, uh, uh, a number of Venezuelan citizens and Nicaraguan citizens were documented with Honduran uh, papers. Me meaning what? Meaning that uh, there's a bunch of people infiltrated in the uh, in the in the riots or the demonstrations. Uh, these are uh, agents provocateurs, you know, if you know what I mean. I see. Uh, people so, who provoke. Right, so what you're saying is is that you believe that, that, that Venezuela, for instance, is, is, is sending people into well, your... If you look at the, uh, if you look at the uh, uh, photo galleries of yep. the uh, demonstrations, yep. you can see colors, signals, tattoos, uh, masks, uh, attitudes, uh, uh, pra paraphernalia that you only see in Caracas and Manau. Why was Zelaya removed? Yeah, well, he broke the law. I think he has 18 different charges uh, on violation of the law, not only the Constitution, but different laws. Well, how did he break... He was in con yeah, how did he break the law, as you say? What did he do? Uh, well, one of, the, uh, one of the things that he do, he called for a, uh, a process to change the Constitution. Uh, we subscribe to the Constitution that was written back in 1970, uh, 1980, and believe it or not, you know, change, changing a set of articles in our Constitution is a crime, and any attempt to do that is a crime, and anybody who attempts to do that or proposes to do that is a criminal and loses his office immediately. That is the provision in the Constitution. If the president does what, what you just said, if he violates the constitutional law and it means removal from office, is it removal by force or is there supposed to be a vote for impeachment well, and then he's now, removed? Well, removal, it actually, if you read the Constitution, the, it, it says that the one, if you are a public servant and you're proposing to change any of those articles in the Constitution, you lose your status immediately. Was Celaya was he was he trying to become like Hugo Chavez? Was he trying to start some type of a revolution and become king of of, of Honduras? Is that his plan? Well, you 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 review his own words and Mr. Chavez's own words, and you will come to conclude they are actually twin brothers of almost the same mother. What what is your reaction to President Obama, who says that Zelaya should be installed back in president, and, and, and this coup is illegal, and uh, and he is he is in support of your, of your ousted president? If 
if I was a, a, a citizen of the United States, I would be very glad to give you my opinion. But as a Honduran, I'm very respectful of a foreign leader, and I'm very respectful of the laws of all other peoples. Well, I know, I, I know, but I'm not, I'm I know, not but but to do that. I, I know, but well, you are because we talk to people all over the world, and, and this is your country. I mean, this is your country. Yeah, I mean, but I'm a lawyer. You know, I'm a lawyer. I'm, I have a high respect of the foreign authorities and a, for, uh, and a leader, you know, yeah. uh, especially from a friendly country like the U.S. W what about the Organization of American States? They suspended Honduras today from uh, unanimously. There, there was nobody in support of, of keeping you in, in this organization. What yeah, effect will that... Exactly. And, what, you know, and you know what? You know what is, what, what, what is really sad about the OAS? Is that every resolution that is taken at the OAS has to be... 100 percent vote it has to be unanimous with with all those with all of those interests though all of those uh, ties those business ties and tourist ties between the united states and honduras and also the role that the united states military has in training the honduran military are you su oh, are you okay. are you okay. surprised that's the question yeah well here's okay. the question I, I haven't asked i haven't asked the question yet I, my question is are you <laughs> are, are you surprised that the United States was surprised that Zelaya was removed forcefully last Sunday. They said that caught them by surprise that they actually there was a coup last week. Okay, let me put it this way: the commander of the South Command of the U.S. Armed Forces just took his position three days before Zelaya's removal, and they were in the middle of ceremonies and all that. Probably by now, this general has been brief of what's going on in Latin America because he was pulled out of maybe Montana. So is there was there a, was there a surprises? Is there, is the U.S. intelligence community affected no more, or would they be an embarrassment to be a friend of Honduras for the U.S. when we host uh, an Air Force base in the middle of our country when we have a, the only port Marie maritime port that is approved by the home home safety uh homeland uh, safety uh department and it is only approved by the uh, u.s customs and whoever wants to export from the u.s to the u.s from central america has to go through that port in honduras and we have the only facility and infrastructure in radio guidance and um radar to monitor narco activities flying over Central America. How about that?